What's up everybody, Bob here, and today I wanna to tell you how I passed the Security Plus so that you can go on and pass it as well. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to understand about really any IT certification is that it's, it's just a certification. While on the way to the cert, you're gonna gain a whole bunch of knowledge and you're gonna to need to gain a whole bunch of knowledge. Really, once you achieve the certification itself, all it really is is a piece of paper. And especially when we're talking about cybersecurity, it's really important that you understand that, that your skills and what you can do are much more important than your credentials. Uh, let, me, let me illustrate this here. So one of the things they send you, CompTIA, along with your actual certification, is a card, right? So I don't know when I'll have to use this. Maybe at some point I'll be able to say, hey, I'm Security Plus certified. You better watch out. Or, you know, maybe I'll just have to prove it in an interview at some point in my life. But with this, uh, I use it as an illustrative point when I'm teaching. And that is when we think about any cert, no matter what it is, when you have the actual credential, there's, there's a little bit you get with that. You can command higher salaries and, you know, it sounds impressive. But is it going to secure the computer? Watch. I mean, let me, let me check. Did that just secure my computer? No, it was my knowledge that I got on the way to getting the cert that, that, uh, that allowed me to secure a computer or to secure a network. So I need you to understand that first and foremost. Next, you need to understand why you're getting the cert. For me, it's because I want to teach it and I realize that there's a directive out there by the Department of Defense in the United States that Security Plus is listed among many of the roles that they have and a requirement, honestly, to be in those roles. So for you, you might be watching this video because you need to get it for your job. Maybe you're on a time frame or maybe you're just trying to break into the industry. I find that Security Plus is a good route to do that. So with that said, I wanna give you some of the resources that I used. First and foremost, with any cert, I like to do um, a book and a video series. The book that I, used was the um, Security Plus Get Certified Get Ahead by Daryl Gibson. Now this is a fantastic book. Um, I found that it was written to provide insight, industry insight, insight from somebody that knows what they're doing and not just an exam cram guide. I don't recommend the exam crams because they don't provide a whole lot of industry insight. And remember, you do wanna learn, you don't wanna just get this credential because it's possible to get these IT certifications and still not know what you're doing. Remember, the trivial side is, is great and all, but really knowing what you're doing is most important. And I found that this book was incredible for that. Uh, let me flip back through here. There is about, you know, roughly 500 pages total with the glossary included, you know, uh, right at, let's see, I'm looking for the last page here. Yeah, there's 587 total pages. So if you run, read this front to back, what I would recommend doing is coming up with a learning budget. Meaning, let's say you've got, you know, three months. Think about how many pages a day do you have to read to finish the entire book? And when I say finish, I mean finish as if, you know, you've learned what you read. Um, so that, that, that's a great thing to do. And that's what's helped me really digest these larger books. Because, you know, 587 pages really isn't that bad when we start looking at these books with thousands of pages. Um, you really need to come up with a learning budget. Meaning, not financially, but from a quantitative perspective, how many pages... Per day are you going to read or how many pages per month to get to that goal and then uh, really once you've got that all outlined I need you to take inventory of your schedule so in in your day-to-day -day, how much time do you have to invest in reading how much time do you have to invest in yourself and learning and growing come up with that allocate that and block that out. I mean, you could use your calendar on your phone or on your computer to block out a space of time that you are going to take to sit down and read. Like, let's say you were trying to work through the book, right? You say, you know what, I'm gonna sit down today 
and I'm going to read 30 pages. You sit down, schedule that time, two hours maybe. You don't, might not even need that much time to read 30, 30 pages. And actually do it, right? I mean, tell when you get texts like, hey, jump online, we're playing this game. Or, hey, come on, we're going to have fun or go out to eat. You tell your family, right? Or tell your friends after, after I study. So it's very um, tempting, especially when you're near starting to work towards your goals, to all of a sudden go off and do a distraction. One thing I noticed about myself is that it seems like every time I start pursuing my goals seriously, some big distraction comes up in my life. And it's, it's crazy how that works. So I, I recommend blocking that time out and then going for it. All right. More specifically, when it comes to a video series. So again, I say get a book and then a video series. I recommend CBT Nuggets. I don't know if you've ever heard of CBT Nuggets, but they are a fantastic website. Um, and they, they deliver awesome IT training. Uh, I've used them for my CCNA. I've used them for CEH. I've used them for plenty of certifications. And just training overall. So you can see I'm logging in here. But CBT Nuggets is a great site. I recommend checking out their Security Plus series with Keith Barker. Uh, you can do a one-week trial of this. Um, and again, with this, you, you want to get a learning budget, meaning this is how much time you're going to spend per day until you finish that video series. After you're done with the book and the video series, I really need you to start taking a practice test. And... CBT Nuggets also have practice tests. This is how I did it. I know there's sites out there like Udemy and um, IT Pro TV and Pluralsight that also have Security Plus courses. So check them out as well. I do not recommend going with any video course that isn't highly rated. So look at the ratings um, and make sure it's like if it's like out of five, it's right there at five, if not exactly five. Um, out of five if it's lower than that like in three I would say look there's so many five-star resources out there that um, There's no there's no excuse to be really using anything of lesser quality now I do know of a uh, I, I can't really vouch for this Fully because I've never actually used it, but I do know that professor Messer is good I've seen some of his videos and he has an entire security plus video series on here for free on YouTube so check him out when you get the chance. You can go on YouTube and look up Professor Messer. I'm a big fan of his. And you can see all the courses that he has to offer. Here you go. First one up there is you know, Security Plus, the 501. That's the one that I passed. All right. With all that, I really would like to touch on one final thing here. And that is probably the first thing you, you should do, but I waited till the end of the video, and that is go out to CompTIA's site, which is the organization that designs the Security Plus, and look at the objectives. Now, to get the objectives, typically you're going to have to put in your contact information like email and phone number, and they will email it to you. That's one of the best ways you can really keep up with whether or not you're really learning, uh, you know, the related content or the you know relevant content to the test um, whether you're going to a school whether you're going to one of these IT training platforms online or reading a book you want to make sure that they are basing what they're writing about on the objectives because yes the industry perspective is probably the most important but yeah we're talking about passing a test here so any of your resources should be aligning with those objectives Hey, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and shoot, uh, shoot me the question in the comment or send me a message on any of my social sites. Have a good one, and I believe you're going to pass this.